everyone, welcome back to the Lord of the Rings Online. This is Narlo here. Say hello to everyone, Narlo. Good boy. How about we get your name up above your head? There we go. We are sitting here. We left off in front of the Forsaken Inn. We were, as you see, had a bunch of quests taken care of over here in the Lone Lands. But what we are going to do first, you'll notice as a You Have Mail icon, so we're going to visit our mailbox and see what's going on. Yes, indeed. There we go. We have the Farm Fest. So the first one from the Party Planner. Subject, the Farmer's Fair. So why don't we take a look at it. The Farmer's Fair is in Bywater for a limited time. Join the festivities as the good folk of Middle-earth scramble for the best eggs, steal the Shire's best mushrooms, fish, and join in the fun of the fair. There's a formal inf here is a formal invitation to the Farmer's Fair. We hope to see you there. Sincerely, a party planner. Okay, so there we go. We have to take our invitation to the party planner. And I believe the party planner can be found in Bywater, if I remember correctly. It probably actually says in the invitation. Why don't we see if we can read it? You are cordially invited to join the celebrations in Bywater for the annual Farmer's Fair. This midsummer festival features food, fun, and more. If you wish to travel to the fair, the Michael Delving Stable Master is sending horses that way regularly. I hope you enjoy yourself. Sincerely, Opal Goodbody. So we need to speak with the festival announcer at the Farmer's Fair in Bywater. And we are going to get three Farmer's Fair tokens. Now I'm going to assume the tokens are going to end up here amongst our festivals and events. I'm sure it'll end up just like our anniversary tokens, the Winterfest tokens, the Springfest tokens. I'm sure the Farmer's Fest will end up here as well. And this is a brand new festival. Um, so I am looking forward to it. Just like the anniversary festival is all brand new stuff. Had not seen the fireworks stuff and all that before. So we're going to take a ride to Bree. And we will meet you whenever we get over there. Alright, we have arrived on Michael Delving. I was very happy to see that the South Bree Stable Master actually had one of the uh, 80 copper rides to all of the beginning zones. It's good to see them doing that, adding in a few more stable routes. Used to be the South Bree guy could take you out to a like a uh, the Ost something in the far in the Lone Lands. He could take you to the Forsaken Inn, and he could take you to the North Bree stable, and that was it. So it was kind of disappointing. It was like, okay, what's the point? But it's good to see now that they have added some much more useful routes there. All right, we've got the horse to the Farmer's Fair. Wonder if we click on it. We do. And it takes us straight over here, hopefully, to buy water. I'm going to assume that it's an open instance, open world, and not a closed instance, like uh, what the Winterfest is. It certainly looks like it. Good, good. So we're in the regular world. Let's pull up our map and take a quick look. Judging by the people in the background riding the horses, yes. Yeah. So we're in the regular Shire. That's just a very quick ride to get us there. All right. So we need to find the festival planner. Correct? Let's go ahead and accept it, actually. <clears throat> Let's find the festival announcer. I wonder where she's going to be. A lot of party goers and stuff. Surprised she wasn't here at the end. I'm going to take a look around for her. Um, there's an awful lot of uh, NPCs and quite a few PCs scattered about, so it may take a little while to sort through all the names. So let's see if I can find her. And we have located her. As you see here on the map, there's the green dragon. You look right past the <clears throat> excuse me, right past the well. You've got the lane that goes up to the East Road. You've got the lane that goes to Hobbiton. And right over here is the festival announcer slash town crier. So let us talk to her. And 
finish up this quest. An invitation to the Farmer's Fair. Hello there! Are you here for the Farmer's Fair? Welcome! I hope I can answer all your questions. Alright, so we haven't got the tokens yet. A tour of the Farmer's Fair. So you are here for the Farmer's Fair, are you? I'd be happy to send you along the tour route so that you can become familiar with the events. There is so much to do. You want to begin by speaking with Mayor Whitfoot in Bywater Central. This is likely his very favorite festival of the year, so he can tell you a great deal. Okay, Bywater Center. Mayor Whitfoot. Remember him? He's flower dumpling. He's usually standing over there in front of the town hall in Michael Delving. There he is, Will Whitfoot. Standing at the head of a very, very nicely laden table. Wow. Let's see. Ah, sp sp spicy. Save me. Let's see what the mayor has got to say. Still doing a tour of the farmer's yeah. fair. Hello, Narlo. I'm glad to see you took time away from your adventures to come sample the Shire's finest vittles at the farmer's fair. Oh my, but I do love this festival. I could eat all day. I hear there's some exciting fishing to be done at Bywater's Pool. Now, if you'll pardon me, I must tuck in. Alright, so now we need to go down and talk to Godo Bracegirdle at the pond. Mayor Woodfoot looks like he's been enjoying his food rather a lot lately. Okay, the pool should be down this way, I believe. If it's the same one where you go fishing during the spring festival, I think it should be right down here and you turn right. So let's see, a Godo brace girdle. Judging by all the people standing around down here, I would say that would be correct. There we go. Godo brace girdle barter vendor. Obviously this is the barter vendor just like the other barter vendors for the various festivals where you hand in your tokens and you get your reward. And I have got a hat just like that. I was wearing it today cutting the grass, so I like this man already. Hello Godo. What do you have to say? Hello there. Hello there. Are you fond of fishing? We have many exciting and possibly not so exciting quests down here at the pond during the farmer's fair. It's hard to lose at fishing. Well, sort of. Hmm, what's next? Um, oh, you will probably be interested in what's going on at Sanson's farm. It's not far from here, but there's a fast way to get there as well. You should return to the announcer in Bywater. Alright, so we go back to the announcer in Bywater and speak to them about the egg scramble event. So back up the hill. Godo Bracegirdle mentions something about an event at Sandover's farm. Sanson's farm. Where'd I get Sandover? Next I'll be calling it Tyson. Good to see so many people out enjoying the festival. And in my side of the country, it's currently, uh, let's see, 2.30 in the morning. So there's either a lot of West Coasters or a lot of very dedicated people here. Back to find out about the egg scramble, eh, Narlo? I hear it's utter insanity over at Sanson's farm this time of year. If you want to visit, the horse just behind me will take you right there. Travel to Sanson's farm to see the big scramble, egg scramble event. Now I believe Sanson's farm is where the uh, the chicken quest happened. The whole uh, the whole thing where you become a chicken and travel around the Shire in the form of a chicken, talking to other animals. It's really a pretty interesting quest. I've only ever got started on the first two parts of it, so I think we may actually run that here shortly. Well, shortly being in the next few weeks as well. We're going to get the festival taken care of and see if we can't ding to 22 and finally find where Radagast the Brown is, if these rangers will be cooperative to us. So why don't we go ahead and take the horse to Sanson's farm. They're definitely making it very easy on everybody. They're not uh, requiring you to run around too much. Yes, we are. They're okay. You see, here's where Sanson's farm is, just halfway between Waymeet and Michael Delving, and just up the lane there. 
So yes, this is where the chicken quest take place. Remember back a long time ago when the chicken quest came into the game, probably in the what, second year of the game, so it would be about three and a half, four years ago now, at the uh, at the festival, I believe they had a fan gathering festival that year, and uh, at it they had t-shirts that that uh, explained the three different sides you could choose. You know, you had monster play with the free peoples and the evil, the creeps, so it said freeps, creeps, and peeps. Choose wisely. And this is where you chose to become a peep. Alright, I'm assuming that we're going to need to find Mr. Sanson. Farmer Sanson. Is that him right there? Uh, it's a festival organizer, and he's got the kind of flaming ring over his head, so he's probably the one we need to talk to. Yes, tour of the farmer's fair. So many eggs to count, so little time. Of course I know I shouldn't be counting them before they hatch, but I've never been the patient sort, I'm afraid. Lovely day, isn't it? Well, hello there. Are you here for a tour of the egg scramble? You've come to the right place. When you're ready to play... What the, what the, what the, what the, what the? Uh, okay. What happened to my... Travel to Sanson's Farm to see the egg scramble event. That's what I did. Okay, we've just had a bug of some sort, I believe. Alright. We're going to stop there for the moment. See if it's a bug or not. And, or see if he comes back online. So... Maybe he's just in the middle of doing something, and therefore we can't um, speak to him at the moment. So we'll be back in just a short amount of time. All right, if you'll notice, the people are running around grabbing chickens, or of some sort. The chickens are scattered all over the field. Feathers are flying. It's mass mayhem. Dogs and cats sleeping together. So I do believe that's what it is. He is probably not just the festival announcer. He's probably the person that starts this quest here, um, this little contest. So as soon as they finish up, hopefully he's going to get the ring above his head again, and we'll be able to talk to him um, and get this leg of the tour done. So I don't think it's a bug. I think we just caught him at kind of a inopportune moment. So let's go over here and stand by Mr. See, there we go. He's got the ring over his head again. Let's see. Hello there. Okay. Are you here for the tour of the egg scramble? You've come to the right place. When you're ready to play, just speak to me to queue up for the game. Wait for the game to start and then start grabbing eggs as fast as you can. You can play now or finish your tour and head over to Bam for long. I'm sure you'll will be here when you come back. So we need to travel to Bam Furlong to see the delicious, tempting mushrooms. We all know about those. The egg scramble sure does look crazy. Now on to Bam Furlong. We all know about those delicious, tempting mushrooms, don't we? And those of us who uh, have done the rogues quest know that area a little bit more than the rest. Okay, back to the horse, back to the uh, farmer's fair, and then we'll grab the horse to Bam Furlong, which is, of course the home of Farmer Maggot and his infamous mushroom fields. So back to the announcer. Now we need to travel to Bam Furlong. And there's the horse to Bam Furlong. Whew, I'm starting to get dizzy from all the zoom zoom zoom. Okay. Who do we need to talk to here? Festival organizer. Hmm. Let's see if they're the ones. Farmer Maggot likes to give us a hard time, but truth of the matter is, I think he looks forward to this as much as we do. A lovely day, isn't it? Oh, another inquisitor after the delicious mushrooms, eh? There are plenty to go around, but the trick is to catching them before Maggot's dogs catch you. 
You can try to find some now, or you can finish your tour by heading back to Bywater and coming back later. I'll even try to leave some mushrooms for you. So we need to go back to Bywater and speak to the festival announcer. Interesting, I didn't know mushrooms grew on cornstalks. Alright, back to the farmer's fair. Pretty horse. We speak to the festival announcer one more time. Things get a little laggy when there's people around. Takes a second to load in here. All right. How do you do? Did you enjoy your tour, Narlo? As you can see, there's plenty to keep everyone busy while the farmers' fair is in town. I hope you have a lovely time. All right. This should give us our three farmers' fair tokens. And it did. Excellent. Okay. New deed at the Farmer's Fair. All the... Completed a tour of the Farmer's Fair. All the festivals, of course, have a deed that you have to complete all the various... Um, as you see, Frost Bluff, the Haunted Burrow. You've seen those, me do those before, the Fireworks Launch. You have to do the various things. There's one of 16. We have completed the tour of the farmers fair we have to do restocking the market three times manning the market three times the fat mayor three times it looks like three is the magic number here let's talk to the festival announcer and see what she has hmm farmers fair tickets is the available quest Could I take a moment of your time? each day we offer a few tickets to fair goers to sample the games we have available if you would like to purchase more tickets, they'll be available from those gentle hobbits running the games. So claim your tickets to the Farmer's Fair. Three festival tickets. Okay, do we talk to her again to claim them? A lovely day, isn't it? Yes, here are your tickets, Narlo. Have fun and enjoy the fair. Alright, so we've got our three Farmer's Fair tickets. Now, are they... They are. They are actual inventory items. And it looks like the Farmer's Fair tokens are inventory items. How come they don't end up in your wallet? That's where they should have been. Okay, we're going to have to make some room in our inventory, I'm afraid. Now. Hmm. Which one should we do first? I've always been a sucker for fishing, so let's go talk to the fishermen. Okay, we have traveled down to the pond. We have cleared out a little bit of inventory space, selling off some of the uh, yard trash, vendor trash there. And let's talk to Goldie Tunnelly, see what she has. Help, I've been robbed. That pond is a thief, and it's taken everything I own throughout the course of the day. If you're useful at all, you'll thrash that pond until it gives back everything I dropped in it. Okay, catch the list of lost goods that she dropped, her lost spectacles, her lost chair, her lost hat, and her lost teacup. Somebody had issues. Okay, I'm assuming um, we're going to need a fishing rod for this. Do I have mine with me? I do, okay. So we'll put the fishing rod up here in our hand. There we go. We should have enough space available. And let's see what we're going to get here. Hopefully this is going to be what we need to do. Boy, the fish are really jumping today, that's for sure. I don't know if y'all have seen me fish before. I don't think you have. You just wait for the bobber to go down. It's just like real life. And then you pull. But you hopefully don't pull like I just did and get rid of the whole skill thing. So I'm going to have to pull it back up here. Oh, me. What did I do with the fishing? Mm -mm -mm. Okay, that was embarrassing that I slid and threw the icon for my fishing skill off of my bar down here. But it was informative. The skill of fishing is not actually in your skills. You have to go pull up your character, click on the hobby tab, and that's where you find the fishing. So there you click, 
hold on it, there you go, and then you can drop it on your bar. So now we've got it back. So let's go back to seeing whether or not we can catch any of the missing stuff that she's got. Okay, let's watch that bobber. right folks it's got all the excitement of real fishing without the smelly worm covered hands and you have to bring your own beer all right we found the list of lost goods so we've got part of it down Just feel the tension and anticipation, can't you? Alright. We found the lost chair. You just increased in proficiency. As you see, my fishing has just gone to a two. Alright. So it looks like this is going to be... Um, quite an exciting event here. I don't want y'all to get too overly stimulated, so once I get closer to finding all her things, I will rejoin you. Uh. And there's the teacup. Alright, it has only taken about eight casts to catch all five of them, so that's not as bad as I was thinking. Alright, let's go back to Miss Goldie up here and turn the things back into her. And let's see what we get rewarded with. I'm glad you showed that thief of a pawn who's boss. Someone needs to keep some order around here or this town will go straight to the dogs. Alright, we earn 68 experience points. And got the deed Fine Fair Fishing. One of seven. We've got to complete this one three more times, and then the other two quests, two apparently down here, three times and one time. So, um kind of surprised it doesn't give you any tokens or anything. I'm going to go take a look at that right quick and I shall be right back. Alrighty folks, I checked out the guide on a casual stroll to Mordor, which is one of the best Lotro websites out there. In case you're curious, go to them. They have stuff for all the festivals and all that. It's always wonderful guides. And they said, yes, all that this particular quest here gives you is 68 experience every time. So it looks like I will probably only be doing this one three times just to get knock it out, get the deed out. As you see, it is a daily quest, I think. Yeah, and since it's coming up on 3 o'clock, I'll be able to repeat it here in about 11 minutes. So it's a daily quest. I'm going to complete it just to complete it. And then I will not be participating in it anymore. Um, because I just don't need that 68 experience, really. So there you go. Um, that's part one of the Farmer's Festival here. And part two, we'll finish up the other fishing quest. And then we'll travel back up to Bywater and see what is going on in the main town itself. So stay tuned and we'll see what is going to happen in the rest. Now this uh, festival here goes on through I believe August 13th or August 14th perhaps. So you've got a little over two weeks and most of these uh, quests are daily so there should be plenty of time to collect um, lots and lots of tokens. Um, there's definitely the dances are going on again just like they do every festival. The horse race is going on again just like it does every festival and there's a new festival horse. We'll be collecting it. I'll be showing it to you on Glenoran. So yes indeed. We're going to be having some festival fun here. So we'll see you next time. Thank you all for watching and we'll catch you then. Bye bye.